Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about graphing equations by plotting points. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. So how do we graph equations by plotting points here? We know we're giving a line, an equation of a line, and in this case, for our example two, let's dive into it. We have y equals a negative x plus two. Okay, and we want to graph this by plotting points. Notice we have an x and a y, just like any coordinate points, right? x comma y, right? We've seen that before. Oh, if I can put an x here. That's not an x. Let's, let's rewrite that here. But we have a x comma y. So we have x comma y as a point, and a line is made up of infinitely many points. So what we're going to do is find points graph those points, and then connect the dots to make our line. So let's go make a table here, okay? What we're gonna do is we have our x values. We're gonna have the equation y equals negative x, I almost did it again, plus two. And then we're gonna have our x comma y coordinate, okay? So the first value here, what we're going to do is take this equation and we're going to plug, say, negative 5 in for x. And in doing so, we have, okay, y equals a negative, negative 5 plus 2. Well, negative, negative 5 is a positive 5, plus 2 is 7. So our coordinate point here is negative 5, comma, 7. Let's do it again. Negative 3. So we have y equals a negative, using the equation, plug in negative 3 plus 2, and we want to simplify that. Okay, so negative, negative 3, positive 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have the coordinate point here, negative 3, the x value, comma, positive 5, the y value. Let's do another one, negative 1. So again, y equals a negative, negative 1 plus 2. And a negative negative is a positive, so positive 1 plus 2 is 3. So we have the point now, negative 1, the x value, y value is 3. Let's keep this going. We have 0, so 0. And for x, so 0 equal, or y equals negative 0 plus 2. And can't really have a negative 0, just 0, plus 2 is 2. So we have the coordinate point now, 0, comma, Let's keep this gravy train going. Let's go 1. So y equals a negative 1 here plus 2. And negative 1 plus 2 is 1. So this one's coordinate point is 1, comma, 1. Two more points to go. We got 3. So y equals a negative 3 plus 2 equals, well, negative 3 plus 2 is a negative 1. So our coordinate point here is 3, comma, negative 1. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have 5 here. So we have y equals a negative, put 5 in for the x value, plus 2. Let's solve that. Negative 5 plus 2 is a negative 3. And now we have our last coordinate point, 5, comma, negative 3. It's important to note that you can really pick any x values you want to do this. I just had these set up ahead of time. So now what we're doing is we're going to graph these coordinate points and then connect the dots there. So bear with me, I'm going to create a graph and I'll see you in a minute. So now we have our x, y axis. Let's go plot some points. First one here is negative 5 comma 7. So we go negative 5 in the x axis, which is right here. I didn't write them all because it would be kind of jumbled. So negative 5 is right here. And then we go up 7 units right here. We have that point. And let's go label it negative 5 comma 7. Let's deal with the next point here, negative 3 comma 5. So we have negative 3 here. All right. And then we go up 5 units. And that's roughly here. Now I've freehanded everything. So hopefully it lines up straight. But you will probably have graph paper. A little hard to do graph paper here. Next one, negative 1, comma 3. Negative 1, comma 3. A little off there, but it's all right. So we have negative 1, comma 3 right here. So negative 1, positive 3. 0, comma 2. So 0 on the x-axis, comma 2. That's that point. 
0 comma 2. 1 comma 1, so 1 in the x, 1 in the y, right here. We got 1 comma 1, right there. Almost to the end, 3 negative 1, positive 3. On the x-axis, negative 1, which is right here, that value. And we have 3 comma negative 1. And lastly, we have 5 negative 3. So 5 on the x, negative 3 on the y. And that's roughly right here. And that's 5 negative 3. So now we've plotted all these points. We need to connect these dots, and it should be a straight line because this is a linear equation here. But um, bear with me. Let's see if I can do a decent straight line here, freehand. You should use a ruler, to be honest. But I don't really have a light board ruler, so we got to do what we can. Okay? And there's our line, y equals a negative x plus 2. And we've graphed that equation line by plotting points. I hope this video was informative for you and helped you. If so, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com